Tevet of Torah. This year is entitled Inciting the Gentiles, number three, final part in our series, in our mini series on dealing with the Goyim and doing actions that incite the Goyim. So basically, we have said that it seems that no one, not Rav Sturmbach, no God is going to say there's an Isser per se to incite the Goyim. Because we do plenty of mitzvos where the Goyim aren't happy with. Everyone agrees Yeshua conquered Israel. Goyim weren't happy with that. Everyone agrees Moshe conquered the Transjordan. Goyim weren't happy with that. Everyone, Jews, everyone agrees Ezra and Nehemiah came back, built walls inside of the Goyim. Goyim weren't happy with that. But when you're doing a Maisa Mitzvah of Kibush conquering, then whatever the Goyim feel, they feel. Now we're going to incite them. We may kill them. And that's just part of war of the midst of Kivosh. But the question is, is there a midst of Kivosh? So, Rav Shemar says, no. We don't have the uh, a firm government. And we have the three oaths over our heads. And therefore, there is no mitzvah. It's a big, big, big discussion. Satma Rebbe wrote hundreds and hundreds of pages on this, to on this topic of the Gayim and the oaths. Some of the answers given why we are not bound by oaths. The famous ones are the San Remo Conference, the Balfour Declaration, that uh, the Goyim said, no, we can go back and we can have Eretz Israel again. Some say because the, the oaths were a bit of a joke, because they're also supposed to uh, abide by the oaths. The Gentiles, they're not abiding, therefore we don't have to abide by it. Some say the oaths, whatever it means, is some cryptic Amar and Kirtuvo, Kufidal, it's not for them, the Rabba and the Ruf. So it's some interesting agatata, but it's not halacha. Sarah Brand has another idea that Moshe Rabbeinu thought that the oath against him going to Israel was nullified once he was able to conquer Israel. He said, oh, I'm conquering Israel. I guess the oath is nullified. And the answer is no. You only conquer the Transjordan. You get you are on the east side of the Jordan. You get into the west. Meaning, if he got into the west part of the Jordan, Israel proper, that would have been a sign that the oaths were abandoned, nullified, that he could go. And so to us, once we were, had such wild success, then that's a sign that Hashem has said that the oaths are no longer binding. And Baruch Hashem, we've had unbelievable success. But Rav Moshe Sternbach maintains, till Mashiach comes, we are bound by the oaths. That's the, the, the Sama position, and therefore the whole Kivosh is, is not a mitzvah. And the Sama Rebbe says this whole state needs to be dismantled in order to bring Mashiach. Many of us, myself included, strongly and passionately believe this state is paving the path to Mashiach, while these giants maintain the opposite. It's an impediment to Mashiach, and then we need to have Mashiach after the state is dismantled, has the shalom. So that is what Sternbach holds, that there is no Rechav's Mitzvah, because the oaths are binding upon us till Mashiach, and many of us hold that is not true. The oaths, if they were ever binding, they are not anymore. And therefore, that is not a reason why the war would be Rechav's Mitzvah. What about the fact that it's Goyim? We have Goyim. So first of all, it's not Goyim. It's non religious Jews, and some religious Jews as well. So it's people who are not Shomer Torah Mitzvos. Once again, look at the wars in uh, Malachim. Many of the wars were won by kings who were not so religious, Achav and others, and the Gemara praised the Mechemes Mitzvos and the acts of Kivash, even though they weren't firm. So therefore, we really have to get down to understanding what's a Mechamah's Mitzvah. And if we're involved in the Mechamah, the Mitzvah of Kivush, of conquering Israel, if it's defined as a proper Mechamah, then in 48, we incited the Goyim and we conquered Israel. And yes, the Goyim were upset and we killed some of them. That's what happens during Mechamah's Mitzvah. In 67, we incited them as part of the Mechamah's Mitzvah and we killed some of them. That's part of the Mechamah's Mitzvah. And going up to Harabayit, inciting them, hopefully, there will be no deaths, unless Russia does deserve a death, but that's a separate discussion. Hopefully it will just be slowly, slowly, or Mitzvah not so slowly, that we will capture this as well, the Harabayit, the most holy place in the world. And yes, we are inciting the Goyim, but for the sake of Mechemes Mitzvah, that's what we do. We do the Mechama, 
we do the war, we do the acts of kivush, and whatever happens in terms of the guy's reactions, that's what happens. That's part of this ongoing miraculous process. Shalom.